Michael's never out of a turban. Mind you, she can get away with it. If I was to wear one of them down the metro centre, everybody would just think I'd had a bash on the head. Mm. <laughs> oh, there's Kate and Wills. Man, she's a beautiful-looking girl, isn't she? The watch is wearing looks like they've given her all the Queen Mother's old clobber and told her to get on with it. Mm. And there's Camilla in her wellies again. She might not be a glamour puss, but at least her feet will be dry. Tony, will you turn that down? <laughs> Sorry, but I can't concentrate properly. Were you talking? And his phone beeping! <laughs> Sorry. You're never off that thing. What are you doing? Bit of the old fitty finder. <sighs> you what? It's one of them game things, man. Angie's nephew's got one. He's addicted to angry beavers. It's not a game, actually. It's an app for dating. It shows you all the fitties in your local area who are looking for love. Ah -ah! Anyway, I've decided I'm taking matters into my own hands. Because when you think about it, there's no reason why I should still be single, is there? Well, apart from the fact that you're still living at home and you're still on the dole. Well, yeah, but so is Leo, and he's found someone. He's got you there. <laughs> Judy, who's... Judy. Shall I get it? No! Should I get it? No! no. Just leave it. You're right. Hello? Yes. I had a dream about you last night. We were on a beach, just the two of us, nobody else. And you said to um, me... I'll just stop you there, if I may, Judy. It's Pam. Pam? Pam, Leo's mum. Oh, Pam. Oh, um, uh, hi. I'm um, sorry. I, I didn't realise. Uh, how are you? I'm good, thank you, Judy. How are you? Fine, thanks. Good. Yeah, I just answered Leo's phone because he's still in his pit. Oh. Uh -huh. Anyway. The million dollar question, Judy. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What, what, what do you mean? Well, I've been dying to meet you. Leo keeps putting it off and Tony wants to know why. Do I? Well, I... <laughs> I'm only winding you up. So you and Leo are meeting up later today? Yeah, I, I think we might be going for lunch. Oh, lovely. Anywhere nice. Either the running fox or the Nelson? Oh, the Nelson does a lovely battered haddock. Sounds nice. Tony loves it. Mind you, he has to have it with a Gaviscon chaser, else he belches like Chewbacca all the way home. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, he does. Give Get off! Give it! Get off! Oh, my God! I'm in the middle ah. of a conversation! Hello? Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. Me? What? No, I wasn't still in bed. No. How rude. Hi, lovely. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good. I enjoyed my little chat with your mum. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I particularly enjoyed it when she said to me, so, Judy, what's wrong with you? What? She said, what's wrong with you? I've been dying to meet you and he keeps putting it off. What? That's <laughs> not true. What? Wait. You don't think I don't want to meet you because... Well, because of the whole transgender thing, is that it? I don't know, is that it? God, no! No! I just think it would be way better if she got to know you first, as a person. Uh -huh. Because obviously she'll completely fall in love with you, and then that way it'll be less of a big deal. Because it's not a big deal. <laughs> not for me, and it won't be for her. She's pretty cool about... She used to cut a girl's hair who was a lesbian, and she said she would have happily kept doing it if it wasn't for the fact she'd already taken it right into the wood and there was nothing left to cut. Drink. Please, mouth quite dry. <laughs> Yes, how can I help you? Two pints of lager, please. Sure. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm not being funny. I'm sure I know you from somewhere. Do you? Oh, wait, I do know you. Do I? Oh, maybe not. Oh, um, I must be mistaken.
No, I know, I know what it is. You remind me of someone. Yeah. Oh, God, who is it? Um, no. No, you, you do remind me of someone, but this is, this is weird. You remind me of a guy I used to go to college with. Really? Yo, bro, how'd you go? Jimmy, what the f... Oh. Can you believe this? What's the odds? I'd say the odds were perhaps very good. Oh, you don't mind us being here, do you? Is there any point in us saying no? The try, son. Phil. Phil Arkley. You're not his sister, are you? No, Jeff. I'm not his sister. Well, where is she? Who? Who? Judy. Oh, she's, um... She's right here. Um... Hello. Ma'am, this is Judy. Judy. Pleased to meet you. Pamela, Leo's mother. Hi, Pamela. Nice to meet you. I know. I don't look old enough. <laughs> what can I say? Child bride. <laughs> <laughs> And this is me, Dad. <laughs> Hi, Judy. Hi. How are you? All right. Uh, what about the potholes in the car park? Pouring. And this is me brother, James. Hello. Hey, Jude. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like to say, I think you're very brave. He's a troubled young man. He must have a big heart. We were just about to shoot off, actually. Oh, were you bollocks? Oh, sorry. This is Jeff. Uh, no friend of mine from college. This is Leah. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Hi. And, um, Leo's family. Nice to meet you, Jeff. Hi. 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 Hello. Yeah, uh, I should make a move. We should make a move too, maybe. So you two know each other from college? Yeah. Yeah, we do, yeah. Yeah, we haven't seen each other for years. <laughs> Hardly recognised me, did you? No. Change that much, has you, Jeff? You, you could say that, yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking at the menu and, uh, no, there's not much I fancy on it, actually, so... There's pulled pork. You love pulled pork. Have they got the battered haddock? Not for you, they haven't. Look, you don't have to go somewhere else. We'll go and sit somewhere else and leave you to it. Not gonna happen, not gonna happen, not gonna happen. Oh, Judy. Oh, look at him, Jeff. He's all embarrassed cos his mum's here. <laughs> oh. I'm not bothered. We, we could all just sit here, I suppose. Together? Yeah. No. Yeah, together, why not? No, let's <laughs> just shove these two tables together hey, and... Hey, uh... let Jimmy do it. You don't want to be dragging chairs and tables around at your age. Here we go. Come on, then. That's it. That's it. That's it. Have we got plenty of chairs? Make sure there's one for Jeff. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm fine. Sit. I should, I should get going. Oh, no, stay. No, no, honestly, I've... Uh, I said stay. Maybe just... just a quick one. Eh? Aye. Right, well, I'll... No, I, I insist. What would you all like? Half a Guinness for me dad, cider for me, and a tonic water for me mum. Cos she's got half a bottle of vodka in a bag that she'll put in under the table. <gasps> Shh. I'll, I'll, um, I'll give you that. Oh, Mum, we're going to be here for ages. Oh, ye yeah, of little faith. We'll say a prayer to St Anthony. That always works. When I can't find my car keys, who do I ask? St Anthony. And when I can't find a parking space, who do I ask? St Anthony. Anthony. And when I can't find anything to watch on the TV, even though there's thousands of channels, who do I ask? Saint? No. I ask Alan from next door. He's got hundreds of DVDs. Dear St Anthony, we need your help. My Jackie has lost her birth certificate. No, Mum, I've lost my passport. Don't tell me. Tell St Anthony. Go on. Dear St Anthony, I need to find my birth certificate so I can get a new passport, so I can go to Hungary, so I can have a gastric balloon fitted and lose three stone, and then I can meet someone. Oh, then... Hi, Jackie. It's a saint, not a miracle worker. 
God. If someone had said to me, guess who's now a woman, I would have never have said you, not in a million years. Who would you have said then? Well, off the top of me, head, Graham Atkinson. Just had a hunch about him. Yeah, your hunch was right. Graham is now Grace. She works on the till at Little. You're shitting me. I am, yes. Listen, um, we haven't said anything to Leo's family yet, so. Oh, God, no. No, no, I wouldn't dream of it. Thanks. <laughs> what do you think of her? Jimmy, in case you hadn't noticed, I'm on a date. In case any of you didn't notice, I'm on a date. Oh, Leo, relax, man. It's a natural progression for your partner to meet your parents. Remember when I met your mum and dad, Tony? I do indeed. It was shortly afterwards that Grandad took that stroke. <laughs> yeah, it suits you, by the way. The woman thing, it, um, oh. it was good. Thanks. Do you know, um, do you know when my dad died? My mum told me he used to wear ladies' underwear. Interesting. Well, that's like transvestite, though, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's just a little bit kinky. But, but you've had, like, operations and all that, have you? Yeah. Good for you. Mm, what about you? Well, I've had my tonsils out, but it's as far as I've gone. I mean, what's going on with you? Married? Wife? Kids? I'm married, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Can't recommend it enough. First 48 hours of bliss. <laughs> <laughs> what's the verdict? What do you think of Judy? Well, she seems very mature. By which you mean? Very grown up. You mean she's too old for us? No, I didn't say that. You more or less did, didn't you? Mm, mm. You kind of did, Mum. Tony? Tony, tell them. She didn't say that. Thank you. OK. Oh, I can feel his mighty hand working. Oh, it's in that box. Go on, open it. <laughs> An old magic mix. Brilliant! I've been looking for that for ages. Thank you, St Anthony. Do you mind me asking? Do you know when we were at college, does that mean you were, like, gay? Mm, kind of. Kind of. Well, I, I knew I was a woman inside, so I didn't feel gay, even though I was physically a man who liked men. So... Physically, you were a man. Look, think of it like this. Yeah. Imagine that you were you, and everything was exactly the same. Yeah. Except every time you took your clothes off, it was a woman's body you saw in the mirror. Mm. Just think about that a little bit longer. Oh! oh sorry. Thank you, Judy. Okay. Good. Thank you. Good. Well, cheers. 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 Good health. Cheers. What's yeah. up? Oh, cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. See you. Oh, it's my mum. What age was that mum? Hi, mum. How nuts would it be if Judy's mum came too? You're where? Oh, what a nice surprise. You must be Peggy. Hello, everyone. I'm Pamela, Leo's mother. Oh, hiya, Pam. Oh, would you look at that? You must be Leo. Hello. Look at him, all in black. Oh, like the milk tray man. The, the what? Do you not remember the advert? Oh, he's too young for that, Peggy. The milk tray man was the perfect man. Strong, mysterious, swam through shark-infested waters to get to the woman he loved. Oh, I used to dream about him. He'd shimmy up my drain pipe and knock on my window and I'd be waiting with my eyes closed, my mouth open. Right, Mum, that'll do us. Thanks. What? I'd be waiting with my mouth open and he'd give me a strawberry cream. Mmm, oh. <laughs> delicious. For goodness sake, what did you think I was going to say? Never mind. Oh, you thought I was going to say something rude. Oh. Mind you, <coughs> after I'd had my lovely chocolate, he'd whip off my good night, he'd throw me up against the trouser press. Mum, Mum, this is Jeff. Do you remember Jeff? Oh, Jeff. Um, oh, let me say. Um, we were at college together. Did you have a sister? No. 
Did you ride a motorbike? No. Oh, did you used to have a dog with three legs and a bright blue muzzle? No. Yeah, you did, I remember. Oh, nice to see you again, Jeff. What can I get you, Peggy? Oh, dry white wine would be lovely. <laughs> And now, as the innocent wildebeest arrives at the watering hole, the savage crocodile contemplates the right time to launch its ferocious attack. Don't worry about her. My mum has a great ability to defend herself. <laughs> he keeps looking at you. Who does? Uh, what's his face? Um, Jeff. Does he? Yeah. And again, just saw him. So I detect a touch of jealousy. Me? You've got to be kidding. <laughs> nah. I'm not like that. Not me. <laughs> New. <laughs> New we <wheels -y. laughs> That's the ninth time he's looked at you in under a minute. Then there was Judy's father. He was very fond of all types of crisps. Was he? James, no phones at the table. It's important. Put it away. I'm just checking something. What are you checking? It's my fitty finder, Peggy. It's one of these new apps for his phone, Peggy. Oh, I know it. My other daughter, Jackie, she uses it sometimes if she's got the horn midweek. It's the greatest invention since the wheel. Your phone tracks down fitties in your area. Apparently, he says that one of his friends that used it ended up meeting a woman who used to be a man. Mm. <laughs> Oh, well. There you go, Peggy. You just flick through the pics and you rate a face on hot or not. And that'll hopefully lead to a romantic date, which, you know, could in turn lead to a kebab. Yeah, I don't know, Peggy. How times have changed, eh? Oh, very much so, Pam. It was always a fish supper we used to have after we'd been humping. James, do you not think all this stuff, meeting people with the phones, just a bit shallow? Yeah. And you don't mind that? No. And I'll be going to the bar. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, this is nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice place. Been having a nice chat with your mum. Did you? Yeah. She's been telling us all your little secrets. Did she? Oh, yes. Like what? Well... Oh, relax, man. I'm only joking with you. We had a lovely chat. That's good. I was afraid she was maybe boring you. Well, she was, but she didn't say anything bad about you, so don't worry. That's good. Um, Leo says you're a hairdresser. That's right. Oh, that's why your own hair's so perfect. Well, I wouldn't say perfect, but uh, you can. <laughs> yes, any time you want to pop into the salon, I'll give you a cut or whatever. Really? Only if you want to. Thank you. That, that would be lovely. Yeah, tell Leo and I'll pop you in the book. That's that's really kind of you. My pleasure. Maybe I'll get to tidy up them brows while I'm on. <laughs> One tonic water? Spoil the board. <laughs> you OK? Fine, I think. I actually don't think this could get any more excruciating if it tried. <laughs> actually, yes, it could. Oh, this is my other daughter, Jackie. Hello. Sorry I'm late. Oh, hello, Jackie. Hiya. Hi, Jackie. Hi. Mm, this is Liam. <gasps> well, throw me up against a wheelie bin and whip up me knickers. Who the hell's that? It's Jeff. We were at college <gasps> together. This is Liam. Hello. I'm Jackie. Nice to meet you. Jack. Jackie. Oh. Jackie. Oh, Jackie's straight in there. God forgive me, and I know she's my daughter, but it's not just a lock on her stomach she needs. Feet as a butcher's. Do you see the guns on him? Like his arms full of coconut. <sighs> Does he know about you? No, Jackie. He thinks I've got a fancy dress. What about Leo's family? Are they up to speed? No. Flippy <laughs> neck. This could go seriously, Jeremy Kyle. I'm so glad he came. Me too. You all right? Leo. I think we should tell them. OK, pretend I've just joined the conversation and I don't know what you're talking about. Leah, we should tell them about me. What now? Here? Them? Me ma'am? Yes. No? Yes. What are you going to say? Same as I always do. 
Just come right out with it. My name's Judy. I'm transgender. You don't want to soften them with a joke to begin with? Leo, trust me, it's easier this way. Oh, I understand, Judy. Honestly, I do, but... This is my mum we're dealing with here. How bad can it be? Well, if you're asking me as someone who's grown up with her and lives in the same house as her, I'd say very. Just say yes. What? Whatever it is she wants, just say yes. That's what I do with your mother. Anything for a quiet life. Just say yes, love. Tony? Yes, love. Come in, love. Scottish sea salmon on croup and chips. <laughs> James, did I ever tell you the story of how me and your mum met? Let's see now. God made the Garden of Eden, then he made you, and after he made me, mummy rested. And then he thought, what have I done to that poor bloke? We met in a pub just like this. I walked over to your mum and said, How are you doing? No, no, I just said hello. Boring! Shh! We didn't need all this electronic technology. Just two people, face to face. This pub is full of nice young women, is it? There's no reason why you can't meet someone here. But, Dad, when you met my mum, you was rocking a Magnum P.I. moustache and a leather jacket. Of course you pulled. You don't need a moustache and a leather jacket, man. Do you know why? You've got a good heart. A good heart? Are you saying I'm U-G-L-Y? Of course not. You're like a young Brad Pitt. Give it a go. How's my breath? Have you had sardines? I I'm going to go to the bar. Do you want another drink? Oh, no, I'm fine, thanks. I will, Jeff. I'm gagging for one. Right. Actually, I think I will. OK. Here's what I hear about monster movies. It's the way people run. They're getting chased by this gigantic creature, yet they're just running like they're on a treadmill. <laughs> I can take a hint. You want another drink? I'll get you one. Uh, I'll just get back to my friends. So you weren't ever frightened about what would happen if you changed your mind? No, I knew I was a woman. Actually, there's a question I'd like to ask. Yeah, what's that? Jeff, how do you keep in such good shape? Um, diet and exercise. Well, well done. I think I think you're really brave. Oh, thanks, Jeff. Not brave enough to spill the beans to your future in-laws, though, eh? Thanks, Jackie. I don't know what's come over here. I'm the shy one in the family. What about what's his face? Leo. Yeah, yeah, Leo. I mean, he's not. He's just a kid, and he's 26. Not exactly a kid. It's... Jeff, do you want to see me do the splits? Yeah, well, you can't expect too much of it. I suppose, but... And then there's his mum or whoever. You, you know what I mean? I mean, not everyone's as comfortable with it as, for example, I am. So what you're saying, Jeff, is it's just about being a bit tactful? Yeah, kind of. Oh, I couldn't agree more. He's not as thick as he looks him, is he? <laughs> You've passed me test. I left me wallet out and you didn't try to pinch it. I'm James. I left your wallet out because it looks empty. Credit where credit's due. It's a chat-up line I haven't heard before. So, can I get you a drink? OK. Great. I'll be back before you know it. Dad. No, I owe you one. Well, let me go first. Yes, love. Oh, come on, Pam. You are. Are you dancing or are you not? It's Tom Jones, Pam. Come on. Let's show these bands how it's done. Right, Jeff. Let's see you throw some shapes. Honestly, no. When we said earlier that we should tell your mum and dad about me. I, I wasn't really thinking about you. And no, wait, Judy, I was going to say, 
We, we could tell them now if you wanted. No. I felt terrible because I thought you might have felt like I was embarrassed by it, and I'm not. Not at all. So I thought we should just come out with it. If you want, if it makes you feel more comfortable. Are you sure? If you feel that's what you want to do, then we'll do it. 100%. Yes, love. So, what do you think? What of? Judy. What, apart from the fact that she's nearly my age? Ma'am. <laughs> and apart from the fact that you're going to have to get a right shifty on if you're going to have any grandchildren, are you? Uh-huh. And apart from the fact that a whole family are a bunch of utter fruit bags. Ma'am! She's all right, Leo. She's all right. <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, is that me? Is that me? Um, sorry, sorry, I'm missing a minute. Um, it's just that uh, there's a little announcement you wanted to make. Shit. She's up the door. Unlikely, oh, mate. Uh, there's something I wanted to say. Uh... I wanted to tell you all. To tell you that it's wonderful to meet you all. Oh. And, and my shy sister's surprisingly flexible. <laughs> and the drinks are on the end. It's not unusual you want to be mad with anyone. It's not unusual you want to be sad with anyone. But if I ever find that you've changed at any time, it's not 